Welcome back, video number two. These next three or four videos, they should be short, quick, easy, and very familiar. We I tried to squeeze these topics in at the end of class, like on Tuesday, and then Wednesday and Thursday, I was not able to, and other things were going on, I can't remember. Um, anyway, we had a couple great days. Uh, we got our school record um, for highest end of day quiz score, so very proud of you guys. Um, we finished pretty strong uh, Wednesday and Thursday. M There's just many topics throughout the year, though, that we struggled on. So that's why these are very important. All right, so let's get to it. What's problem number one? Let's put our name so I can give you credit. Can't give you extra credit if you don't put your name. You know, it does happen once in a while, guys, where if you have a stack of these together and you put your name on the first couple pages and you miss your name on a couple and then What's, what happens to old feeble people like me? Maybe I drop the stack while I'm grading them and I pick them all up and they're all mixed up and I can't tell whose is whose. Some of y'all's handwriting is similar. Um, and then I'm like, oh, so I only give this person five extra credits instead of seven because they didn't have their name on some. Whatever, just make sure you do that. All right, let's take a look. So positive and negatives. I want to tell you, you guys know number line. You know, just put like five or six on there, okay? This side is zero, like on the coordinate plane and positive. This side is negative, okay? Then sometimes we talk about vertical, and we can just do the lines like this. I'm going to do two situations, okay? One might be a thermometer. Here's zero degrees, you know? This is where we want to be is above 30 degrees, right? But sometimes in the winter, it gets to negative. Yuck, okay? So we've worked with number lines. But also there's the one where we did like this dude's up on a diving board on top of a cliff on an island on vacation. And here's the water down here. And this is going to get into absolute value, which will be a different video. But this is obviously going to be zero because it's going high. But then they can go so deep underwater, scuba diving or when they uh, jump and dive in, they're going to go so deep before they turn around and come back up. So we'll talk about total distance and absolute value in the different video. But this is just to let you know there are positives and negatives. And what becomes the most confusing is sometimes when we have our PIMDAS, PIMADOAS, um, when we have a bunch of plus, minus, times, and divide, parentheses, exponents, and all that mess, okay? And you end up in situations sometimes, um, you know, it's always nice if we have 10 minus 5, right? But what happens if we have negative 10 and you're like, well, how can there be a minus in front of the 10? What are we subtracting it from? Okay, just look at everything by itself. You have, and I always say think of money. You have $10. You're going to spend 5 So what are you going to have left? Okay, yeah, you're going to have $5 left. You have enough, right? What's this? How can you have negative 10 Well, you want to buy something and it costs $10. You, my friend, only have 5 Mom, dad, you know, you're short, going to need to borrow some money. You don't have enough. So it's going to be negative. The cash register person is going to look at you and be like, hey, you still owe me five. There's going to be negative five left. Okay. It's the difference of the two. All right. But I just want to show you, it gets confusing. And I've heard this many years um, as well, where this 10 up here, minus five, they'll be, is that 10 minus five? Or is it 10 plus a negative five? Or. Is it 10 minus a positive 5? Okay, they're all the same thing, okay? Check, check, check. You have 10 positive situation. Now, now that second one's not the same, right? There's going to be 5 taken away. And you're going to take 5 away. You're going to take away 5 positives. You know, 10 positives minus 5 positives. doesn't matter how you say it. It's a situation. You have positives and negatives, okay? So I think it's easy to talk money. Or the other thing you can do if you're ever confused is just throw a number line down there, okay? You start with the first number, okay? So let's look at the first one um, is 10. So you go all the way over to 10, okay? And then you're going to take away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're going to end up here, okay? The second one, you're starting at negative 10, Okay? But then you're going to add five. Oh, it's going to go this way. Okay, so then you're going to be you're going to be stuck at negative five. You still owe five dollars, mom, dad. Okay, that's the basics on positives and negatives. Okay, um, just make sure 
You understand if the question is saying you're taking things away from each other, what's left? Or are they saying total distance traveled? Because I will tell you, this one up here is absolute value. We're doing that one next, okay? All right, that's five minutes. Let's stop there for video two.